What are you doing? Uh, I'm reading some of the comments from Carrie's last video. People want to know the difference between mine and lab-grown diamonds. You want to explain the differences to them? So I did see in my comments yesterday, or maybe this morning it was, that I was asked that people only see me selling natural earth mine diamonds, and I'm showing some now lab diamonds. <laughs> And what I want to explain to you out there is the difference between them and why somebody buys a lab diamond versus a natural earth mine diamond. I have two diamonds that are here. They're exactly the same. This is a GIA certified 201 ESI1, and this is a natural earth mine diamond. This is a 201 GIA certified ESI1 lab grown diamond. Basically, what's the difference between this? The original earth mine diamond is going to run about 24,000 and change for a stone like this. The lab grown diamonds can run you about $4,800. It's a big difference in price, guys. That's a pretty big uh, price difference. So the people want to know, what would you go with, Carrie? So, you know, price has a big factor in this whole thing. What would I go with? I'm old school. I'm so used to the earth mine diamonds, but now I'm letting myself be involved with the lab grown diamonds. Why is that? It's because the lab-grown diamonds give everybody the opportunity to have a nice sized stone and a nice piece of jewelry, whether you make a tennis necklace or you make an engagement ring. It's really what you can afford, and there are a lot of people out there that can't afford to buy a two-carat stone that's GIA certified and earth mined for $24,000. So what does this do? It gives you the opportunity to have a diamond that is the same type of quality for a lot less. The difference is, and like I said before, is the resale value. The lab diamonds are mass produced and there's no resale value in it. But the way I've been hearing from a lot of people is that they're not looking to sell it. If this is what they're looking to get, they're looking to give their wife or, or fiance an engagement ring or a wife a beautiful tennis necklace. It's still jewelry at the end of the day and it's still a diamond. So really what this boils down to is what you can afford, What's going to make you happy? Would you rather take $24,000 and buy an earthmine diamond or take $4,800 and buy a lab diamond? It gives you money to buy other things. It's like, a, 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 it's like a, a weight of scales, which one works for you. At the end of the day, remember, a lab diamond is still a diamond. It's up to you to choose what you think would be happy, you'd be happy with and what would make you happy at the end of the day.